All right, so welcome. Uh, we created our, created our revenue map. Next, I'm gonna create a revenue history. All right, so I'm gonna click on the plus sign here, add a new worksheet. We'll call this our revenue history. Okay, again, similar to the revenue map, I'm gonna go ahead and click on insert, choose pivot table. And my source of data is my variable called source underscore data, right? Click on okay and we get our pivot table fields, all right? So now what I wanna do is plot a line graph of the revenue as a function of time, okay? Meaning the transaction date, right? So what I'm gonna do is drag the transaction date into the rows, okay? Notice by default, it breaks it into years, quarters, and the transaction date, all right? Which is nice. Then I'm gonna grab my revenue and put in the values, right? So now I get my revenue as a function of uh, the date. Notice I can expand these labels here. I get quarter one and then broken down by month, right? Uh, broken down by month, quarter two, quarter three, and so on. Okay. Now, what I can do is again, I can click on my pivot table and get rid of the grand total. So, what I'm going to do is click anywhere within my pivot table, choose design at the top right, go to grand totals, off for rows and columns. All right, so I'm gonna click now on any of the dollar or revenue values here, right, in my pivot table. I'm gonna choose insert pivot chart, click on pivot chart. And notice you have a lot of options here. I'm gonna choose line. So I'm gonna have a line curve. I'm gonna choose a stacked, 100% stacked, okay? Now you can choose 100% stacked or a simple stack line, right? or in this case, a line, right? So I'll, I'll just go ahead and, if you notice the difference, there's not much difference between the line and the stack line, right? So I'm gonna choose the stack line here, click on okay. And notice I have my revenue now, right? As a function of which year and which quarter and which month, right? So first step to do is to right click your chart over the buttons here, you see, and hide all field buttons on chart. I'm gonna take click on the total, delete the total, okay? And I can click on click on this label, delete that, all right? So now I have a nice clean uh, chart. I'm gonna go ahead and design that in the top right. Let's go ahead and choose this one, okay? And the dollar values, I wanna make sure it's dollar format, right? So I can click on the uh, Y axis label and say format axis, all right? And here I can choose a number and the category is gonna be currency. Notice that now I get the dollar sign and I'm gonna remove the decimal places. So I'll make that zero. Go ahead and close this. And now I got a nice uh, chart here, all right? Um, and I can also insert a slicer if I wanted to, all right? So I can click anywhere in my pivot chart and go to insert slicer. And notice I have uh, years and quarters, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and choose years and quarters. So now notice I got nice slicers here. I'll just drag this over to the right based on years and quarters, okay? Notice I have a couple of fields that are not used. So I, I can, you, what you can do is right click uh, your slicer, okay? And what you can do is say slicer settings, hide items with no data click on OK. Notice it, it only shows me the, the data points that do have values, like years 20 to 22. I can do the same thing on the quarters. I can right click the quarters slicer, slicer settings, hide items with no data. Perfect. So I got years 20 to 22 and then quarter one through four. Okay. Again, you can play with this and click on it. It will only show 2021 or you can hold the control key and show all the years. Same with the quarters, right? I can show quarter three. Notice it shows only quarter three of each year. Notice it's of each year. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and control and select all the quarters. Again, leave this all here. We're gonna utilize all this as well as the revenue map and our other charts in our finalized interactive dashboard. See you in the next video. Hey guys, if you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. See you next time.